in here. What's up guys? Uh, sorry I've been gone for a little bit. Um, I've been filming for the past six or seven months and uh, to be honest it's a bit exhausting so I want to take some time off uh, to spend with family and friends and whatnot. So uh, today I was originally going to do a how to pack your pack uh, because packing for a trip like that is, is quite the daunting task. Um, however I realized that every person has different needs so I basically just wanted to do something about what I pack in my pack uh, the things that I need for my trip for instance I went to eight countries four continents uh, a number of different climates you know from Iceland to Dubai so I needed to pack uh, a number of a, a number of different kinds of things to help me along as well as I had to bring like filming gear so I had to make room for all that so uh, I use the Farpoint 55 by Osprey um, I'm really I'm really happy with with how it how it worked uh, it's specifically for travelers um, we'll get into all of that uh, a little bit later but this is basically all I had with me all my camera gear uh, cold weather warm weather stuff uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. Thank you for watching. All right, so this is the Osprey Farpoint 55 pack. Um, I bought it at REI, I believe. I'll put a link down below of uh, where you can get it through Amazon. Um, it's a really great pack. Uh, it, take this off. So it has the main pack, which is this part, and then it has this this removable uh, pouch here or pack um, so basically you remove these and you sort of unzip this outside pack now this zipper was really great but after countless airports and um, baggage claims and whatnot the, the zipper on this bottom end is starting to fail a little bit but I mean, I put this thing through the ringer, uh, you flip it around and the pouches come out and then it becomes, you know, your carry-on bag. Um, let's go through this one first. So basically what I keep in this pack is uh, things that are irreplaceable, so it's always on me no matter what. Uh, when I go through security, uh, even if I check, sometimes I check this, sometimes I carry it on with me. Larger airlines will let me carry it on because it's a little bit bigger, uh, but smaller airlines I'll have to put it in the belly of the plane. It just depends on um, it just depends on the carrier. Uh, so in this front pouch, I have like lip sunblock, sanitizer for filthy airplanes, allergy medicine, uh, Kleenex, and some and some headache stuff. Chewing gum, gotta have this for when you fly. Little pouch. I collect sunglass pouches because I lose sunglasses, but I always seem to not lose the pouches. So the pouches become really awesome. Uh, headphones holders, business cards, locks, like a, a little combination lock from Master Lock for when you're in the hostel and you can store it in the lockers. This is all just garbage that a lot of places don't have trash cans. Um, I've noticed because people are just aren't as wasteful, I think. I don't know. Uh, so there's not a lot of trash cans everywhere. So my bag becomes my trash can. I just put like gum wrappers and whatnot in there. The outside, these pouches are pretty useless. I don't really put anything in them, but obviously wrappers and trash. Then you unzip it, and it's got a little thing here for your laptop. Uh, I had the 15 inch MacBook Pro, but it was just a little bit too big, so I got the 13 inch, and it fits swimmingly inside this little pouch. 
uh, and then inside of the back of the backpack. Inside here is uh, external hard drive. Uh, this is an absolute must if you carry any media with you whatsoever, whether it be pictures or videos or anything. I had a camera stolen in Pro Prague and I lost 650 pictures, so I learned my lesson. I back up my, my phone every time that I can. I back up my camera every time that I can. Uh, I, well, I bring three cameras with me, the GoPro, the, the Canon DSLR, and, the, um, and my smaller Canon G7X. I carry a number of media cards, and that's what this little thing is for, so that whenever I'm done, oh, look at that, one, two, I just found 80 pounds. Boom, I'm rich! <laughs> Oops. Oh well, well, that must have been emergency money. That's another thing to do is you always carry either American currency or British currency, like $100 worth everywhere you go. If you get stuck somewhere, something happens, most countries, and by most I mean almost all of them, will take American currency or British currency in some sort of an emergency situation. So I always keep, apparently, I always keep, uh, a little bit of extra cash on me in case something were to happen. So yeah, the hard drive and and the, the extra memory cards are paramount in saving your memories in case something terrible like theft or or being mugged or just losing it somewhere. Um, this can help battle that. And these little, I, I never was really a fan of the of the like packing cubes, but all over Nepal they don't have plastic bags or paper bags they have these cloth bags that, that everything comes in when you buy them so i have a bunch of these and so now i've started to compartmentalize everything as you can see ziploc bags are a traveler's friend but then it but then you can put the ziploc items inside here so i know this pink thing and i usually mark them i'll probably mark this one later um so i know what it is some drawing stuff a lucky a lucky prayer i got in japan like multi-tool thing. I might be a little bit of a weirdo, but I always carry some rope with me because you never know when you're gonna need rope. And, and if Katie, if you're watching this, I took this with me. My solar panel uh, with, uh, with another uh, uh, charging battery in it. This one is the Goal Zero Nomad 7. This thing worked brilliantly in Africa when I was staying in a village with no power and as well as in Nepal uh, where I was staying uh, in a village that had power, but it was very intermittent. Uh, it would go out quite often, and by often I mean more than once a day. Uh, so I always had this uh, hooked onto the back of my pack or just hanging up in the hostel window or whatever. So I constantly had a fresh battery. And this battery can charge, it didn't charge my laptop ever, but it could charge both cameras, uh, phones. It could charge two or three phones, four phones, I think. A little. <laughs> ah, I forgot about this little uh, goodie bag that Emirates sent me. It's got a, a face mask, some socks, some earplugs, and a toothbrush. Uh, I, I never used it, but Emirates is such an amazing airline. I just want to keep it as a souvenir, I guess. My vlogging camera, hacky sack, you never know when you're going to need one of those. And, uh, oh, this is a, just a little flash drive uh, by Stealth or by, by Corsair, it's called the Survivor Stealth. It's waterproof and pretty indestructible. This thing is like, I don't know what it is, 16 gigs. So it's not a whole lot of storage, but you can put copies of your passport, you can put visa, copies of visas and things like that on this, and this can just be with you wherever, and you can almost literally, I think I saw a video, you can you can run it over with a car and it won't hurt it, so good to have. I don't remember how expensive it was, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, oh, filter, uh, uh, a neutral density filter. Um, oh, this little flattened penny. I forgot about this one. Guards of the Bay in Singapore. I collect the flattened pennies. I don't know why. It's just I think I do. All right, so now let's get into the beefy part. Uh, one of the best things I love about this pack is when you, uh, after you take that front part off, you can lock these in. And they hook into here so they don't. And this unzips to hold all of your, your straps in so that when you're 
um, when you check it in, it goes through the belts and whatnot in the, at the airport, and none of this stuff gets caught. It's really, 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 really convenient, and probably my favorite, uh, my favorite part of this pack. Um, another good part is that it's not top loading; it's it loads from the front, so you can literally open the thing completely up, like so, and you have all your stuff. So let's quickly go through here. I'll kind of pass some stuff that's not really necessary. Just documents, uh, copies of passports, you know, blah, 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 things like that. Little Krishna, gotta keep this. Thanks April for this. Uh, helps give me good luck as I travel. Uh, and here I have a waterproof case for my phone, an iron-on patch for anything that tears, Velcro straps, sewing kit, those kinds of things. Oh, these are drinking tablets, so if you're in a place like Nepal, um, if you're backpacking or whatever, or somewhere where Southeast Asia where the water's not great, you can pop some of these yeah, in your water bottle. Then I have, ooh, I have this. This is probably one of my favorite things. This is a down jacket. Right now it's, it's packable like this, and so when I fly, I put this in my other pack, and this becomes my pillow. Um, but it just unfolds from itself. It's made by REI. Um, I'm sure a number of companies make them. I think uh, Patagonia does as well. Um, I just, I just like this one. And this thing has been, I can't even tell you how many countries this jacket has been to. I mean, it's got duct tape on it. It's, I love this jacket with all my heart. And here we got battery chargers and spare batteries. We carried four, four uh, DSLR batteries and four of the blogging batteries. No, two, three of the blogging batteries and then two GoPro batteries, which is kind of a lot, but I was in areas where I didn't have a whole lot of charging options, so I had to make sure I had a bunch of batteries. Here I got a little fun pouch, got uh, some waterproof playing cards, jump rope because fitness. Usually I'd be wearing this, but I wanted to, but I wanted to show you um, it's a plastic belt, so and it's it's a web belt, so it's made of nylon, and then the and the and the clasp is plastic, so you don't have to take it off at airports. Um, it's one less thing you got to do when you go through security. So there's that uh, one pair of swimming trunks. Gotta have swimming trunks. Uh, a pair of running shorts or workout shorts. Uh, a toiletries bag. This thing is amazing. Uh, it's made by Eagle Creek. There's, I'm sure there's tons of people who, who make these where you can like just hang it in the shower. You know, my stuff. I don't have to go through all this. It's everyone packs differently with their toiletries. Just buy all the travel stuff. I don't think there's anything special in here. No. Travel towel. Gotta have a travel towel. Um, first aid kit, one lightweight poly long sleeve shirt, uh, this one's from North Face, waterproof rain shell, um, this thing's really packable and really light, uh, again from North Face, a pair of gloves, like I said I was in Iceland and up in the Himalayas and I was also in Africa and Dubai so I had to carry more I had to carry basically something for every season, so it was a bit of a challenge at first, but I wish I would have filmed when I packed first, because this isn't necessarily what I packed when I left, this is what I came home with. So I could have shown the difference between the two, however, I think this one is more important because this shows what actually I used, uh, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll actually say if I didn't need to use it. Um, I used these gloves once, and that was in the Himalayas, so I wouldn't have needed them until then. Um, I carry two pairs of underwear. I know it sounds gross, but I have a method. These are made by Ex Officio, and they are antimicrobial, antibacterial, all the things, blah, blah, blah. So what I do is I wear one, wake up in the morning, jump in the shower, wash them in the shower, and then while these ones are drying, I'll wear these ones. And then the next day, I do the same thing. And then I swap. And I did that for seven months. So there's no reason to carry 90 million pairs of underwear when you can just do it with these two. They're I bought these, well, I don't even know, a very long time ago, and I only use them for travel. And they've lasted me, these, these must have lasted me five or six years. They're really good. They're kind of expensive, but worth every penny. Uh, saves some weight, saves time on having to do laundry, all that stuff. Some running tights. Uh, I use these in both Iceland and in Nepal. Uh, they were great to go underneath as a thermal layer, or if you want to go for a run in the morning when it's kind of chilly like in England. Actually, I wore them in England as well. 
uh, then they're nice to go around with. And they're, they don't take up much space and they're light. Headlamp. This thing is also very important to have. Uh, you don't have to turn on, because you don't have to turn on your light when you go into the hostel rooms. Um, you don't have to try and carry your phone in your mouth while you're using both hands. Just have one of these with you. Uh, a bandana for wiping your brow. You can put it over your face um, when it's cold. There's hundreds of uses for these. Uh, so I, I suggest having bringing all these with you. These are hiking slash running shoes, which also uh, double as socks holders. So you can just stuff them with all your socks and they don't take up any more room in your pack. Ooh, I need to wash those. <laughs> and also I take my boom mic, which is over there on the camera, and I stuff it in the shoe to protect it and it doesn't take up any more room. Also can't forget the One of my more favorite things that I packed are these no bull trainers. Um, as you can see, you can kind of wear them around. You can work out in them. You can even run in them. I, I run in a pretty minimalist shoe anyway. Uh, and then I didn't have, I had uh, gray shoelaces, but with gray shoelaces and then a nice pair of like jeans or pants and a nice shirt, they look like dress shoes. They're super lightweight and they look, they look brand new and they've been all over the world. So cheers to you, Noble, for making awesome, not only trainers, but these kind of versatile shoes that you can use for more than one thing, which is great for travelers, because that's one thing that I know I'm constantly looking at is multiple uses of things. Never used to use one of these, but this is like a face towel, uh, and it's kind of bigger than I needed it to be. I only need it to be about a quarter of its size, but I bought it in Nepal for I think 250 rupees, which is like $2.50. So I'll cut it in half, give half of it to my brother for Christmas, or just give it to him or give it to someone. And then I'll have a little uh, wash rag slash face towel. A dry bag, this one's also made by Osprey. Um, just to be clear, I'm not paid by anyone to do all these things, but I do feel it necessary to say the brand names of some of the ones that I, re that I really appreciate and really like. I've been using Osprey stuff for over a decade and they've never once let me down. So a uh, waterproof bag for obvious reasons when you're in wet environments. Um, it also doubles as a laundry bag. So if you're putting dirty, smelly laundry, like if you're in like a humid place where your clothes tend to get really gross smelling, put them in here. Boom, boom, doesn't smell up your bag. It's good to go. One tank top. One beanie, of course. I ended up, I've lost three, four beanies in the last trip. I don't know why, I just end up, I keep losing them. Don't forget sunnies. I don't know where those are, but I usually carry the sunnies. Uh, flip flops for obvious reasons. I usually carry two or three shirts. Um, I lost one. So I have, I have these four shirts that I carry. Um, three of them are poly, like a poly blend. Um, they're, they wick, they wick sweat, they're lighter, they pack tighter, and they just, they just seem to last longer. Uh, they're breathable. And then one cotton shirt. Uh, the cotton shirt I bring with me for the sole purpose of just, sometimes it's nice to put a cotton t-shirt on. <laughs> I don't know any other reason than that. Oh, and, and uh, there's a v-neck in here somewhere that if, if you're somewhere and you want to go out and have a drink or go out with some friends or whatever, you can put a nice v-neck on it. It's still a t-shirt and it's light. Uh, and I usually carry a long sleeve shirt, button up, but I'm not sure what happened to it. I think I lost it. Oh, here's the here's the uh, V-neck, uh, and then I bring a pair of nice uh, convertible shorts. So the legs are in here, and so if I want to wear pants, and they can be pants or they can be shorts. That way you don't have to carry both pants and shorts. A little, little bit thicker than normal kind of jumper, like a thermal layer, but it's also nice to wear. Like if it's not quite cold, but it's also not warm, it's nice to have one of these. And that looks like it's it. So there you go. Uh, I'll put a list of all this stuff at the bottom. If you have any questions or comments or, or any ideas of different ways to pack things, go ahead and leave those below. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. So today I wanted to 
Today, I was going to do a Today, I wanted to Today, I was origin Today, I was going But I have, but I have a but I have, what is the, but I have a, but I have a, but I have a, but I have a, but I am immortal, I'll never fade away, I'm a legacy that lives beyond the